Hello, my name is Colton Schwartz. I go to Hillsborough High School and I'm a sophomore. Then when you finally hear it crank over for the for the first time after having to rebuild it and fix all your issues that you've had, it's, it's really rewarding and it feels really nice being able to know that you can fix stuff like that. Uh, I'd like to eventually go to college to become a mechanic, essentially, possibly an engineer. I've been really interested in that and I feel like this class would really expose me to the elements of learning how things work and how stuff is designed specifically for like usage. I think that if you want to take this class, it's it's really important that you be invested in it. So even if you want to just learn simple little stuff like how to be able to fix your car or change tires or know how to change brakes or assess a spark plug that might be faulty or anything like that, it could be really helpful. Mr. Campbell has definitely been a great motivator. He is very inspirational. He's always pushing me to do my best in this class and not take the shortcuts, definitely. He always wants you to do the full job. Hi, I'm Carly Jan. I'm from Liberty High School and I go to an auto floor class at Hill High. Today I'm taking apart the suspension of a mid-90s Saab. Um, it's been kind of a struggle because the parts are really different from cars I've worked on. I'm used to working on domestic cars like Fords and Chevys. I really like doing the wiring in cars. Um, since like 8th grade I've always done house wiring, different soldering, and so being able to work with my hands and wire a car is really fulfilling. So I just got hired at an auto parts store, um, driving and helping people find the right parts for their cars. Um, I'm interested in entering automotive engineering where I can work on cars and kind of try to figure out how to make engines better, how to make cars run more smoothly. Last year it did help when I was in different engineering programs. Um, it helped a lot with the wiring we were doing in those classes. I'm interested in also becoming a tradeswoman as an electrician. It's definitely not an easy A. You have to be willing to put in a lot of hard work and listen to Campbell because he is really knowledgeable and it makes the class so much better when you listen. He's been extremely helpful. Um, he has so much knowledge from the years of experience he's had working in different auto shops. Um, and it's really nice to have someone that I can ask questions about my car. It's been interesting coming to a different school for this class, but it's definitely worth the drive and um, the time and the kind of mixing up my schedule. Um, and being here is just meeting new people. It's been really good and I've learned so many useful skills. Uh, my name is Jesus Moreno. I'm a junior at Hillsborough High School. Today we're taking off the suspension off a of Grand, uh, Grand Cherokee. Well, I love the class because what I want to do, do in the future is I want to be a, a Marine. I want to be a diesel mechanic, which is basically teaching you the basics right now and learning uh, how to do what we're going to do out in the field. And basically, it's going to be simple for me later on because I'm learning it at a young age and as I grow up, I'm going to learn more and more. Uh, I feel like this is more of a life uh, lesson, like class because it's teaching you uh, basically the basics of a car, like teaching you how to do an oil change, which is basically a lot, where a lot of people don't know nowadays, but it's an easy thing to learn how to do it, fast, simple, and you do it here to, in your first uh, like first month of class, I think we learned how to do an oil change, and it was really easy, and I enjoyed this class, and Mr. Campo was a great teacher. Uh, yeah, I feel like it teaches me a lot, like, because uh, I'm in financial planning also, and it teaches me how to, like, Financial plan has been teaching me how to like manage my money and this class is teaching me how to like basically have a, my own shop which is my dream. Hi, I'm Connor Stansel. I am a senior and I go to Glencoe High School. So today in class we are disassembling the front suspension on a Jeep Cherokee. We just took out the track bars and now we're about ready to take the axle out. What's fun about it is you get to actually learn hands-on and use uh, your body to work through complex situations and think and use your hands. What I've taken away from this class would probably to be able to find different uh, answers to a problem. Like there's multiple solutions to one problem and from this class I've learned that through various machines and working on mechanics. So I am actually gonna go to OSU Cascades and major in forestry and then minor in automotive technology. But my dream is to once I retire from forestry to be able to open up my own auto shop and just have a small uh, business. I'm Terrell Mims, class of 2017 at Hillsborough High School. Uh, we're just working on our small gas engines, just trying to take them apart. And then right now I'm in the process of putting it back together. I just love that like I can apply what I learned in class on my actual car. So like if I ever have a problem, I can kind of name out what's wrong with it and try and work on it at home. I'm looking at some D1 colleges for 
um, like sports medicine, some stuff like that. But I'm also looking for colleges for football too. I'm getting recruited by some Ivy League schools for like Cornell, just for uh, like sports medicine and sports and everything. Hi, I'm Lacey Anderson, and I'm a junior at Hillsborough High School. I've been working outside of school with all my family and working on cars and racing and me working with motors has been a lot of stuff that I've been interested in with going on. I really kind of want to try and be a diesel mechanic slash auto mechanic. If not, my other two goals are to be um, dealing with construction, metal or wood working, house building or possibly being a truck driver just locally. I think that a lot of the skills that are in here, even by taking just the first auto class, you learn a lot of the basics and fluids and tire changes, specifications and everything that is good to know as you get older and learning to drive. I actually live half and half in Hillsborough and in St. Helens. I work more with the St. Helens Auto Care Center, so I've done a lot of like sat and like uh, detailing and working with a lot of their cars and stuff that they have there and learning a little bit more hands-on. Hillsboro, I've been at a few auto care centers and definitely got to look at their hands-on and be their job shadow. Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell. Uh, here uh, at Hillsboro High School, I teach the automotive program here. So we have five different levels um, and students will also complete a senior project. Uh, each level it gets increasingly more complex. Auto One is basic maintenance and oil changes and just learning about your car, tools, how to operate safely in the shop. Um, Auto Two is electrical and learning about the electrical system on the car and really how to use a multimeter and how to apply that to uh, reading wiring diagrams and electrical troubleshooting. Uh, Auto Three is engine repair, uh, basic measuring precision measuring tools like micrometers and, and calipers and telescoping gauges. Uh, Auto 4 is steering suspension. Uh, students will take apart the whole front suspension on a car and put it all back together and do an alignment and learn about power steering and how that works. And, um, and then uh, Auto 5 is transmissions and taking apart a manual transmission and putting them back together. And we've even had some students doing automatic transmissions. Uh, it's a really fun class because they're not in seats the whole time. Um, there definitely is academics to this program, but it's a combination of academics and hands-on. Um, we really try to stress the physics concepts um, that are taught through automotive uh, so that kids are, are learning the physics and some of the math and applying that to a real real world application of the car. I've had several several students over the years that have worked uh, at Royal Moore a dealership right here in Hillsboro. I've had several students that have worked on um, Dix McKenzie Ford. Uh, we've had a few students work for uh, Dix uh, Dodge also and then some independent shops, repair shops in the Hillsboro area. So over the years, I've had a lot of students go out of the, out of here and go into the industry um, and be successful. And um, I have a, one student that graduated quite a few years ago, but now he's running his own shop and his own business, uh, repairing cars. I've had some go well. Diesel and auto mechanics is one, but one student was a service writer at uh, Royal Moore, which is related, but not exactly what I teach. Um, and then. We've had other students that went into like plant maintenance type stuff. So that's also related skill set. Uh, we have an articulation agreement with PCC, with Portland Community College, so students can earn college credit here and uh, through the auto program and then that will directly transfer to Portland Community College if they take automotive there. Um, it's also an elective credit, so if they took some other major, it would transfer as elective credit. Small gas engine projects, a lot of fun. Because um, yeah. kids get to take something apart completely, put it all back together, really see how all those parts interrelate with each other, and then they put it back together and it needs to run again. Um, yeah, in this class we really combine the academics uh, and with the hands-on so that there's real application to the science and physics um, principles that we're teaching here and real application. So like we calculate gear ratios when we're taking apart transmissions. That's some math application but you're applying it to the real transmission and the real parts. Um, we talk about the physics concepts involved with the cooling system in the car and how 
that works with the cooling system. We've been really supported here the last couple of years, especially with uh, business and industry, the local business um, do making donations to us, really helped a whole bunch. I am typically here every Wednesday after school, uh, so if anyone wants to come by and see the program and see what we're doing, um, 3.30 to 5 o'clock, it's after school hours. Um, I plan on being here for students every day for makeup work or every Wednesday for makeup work or when students want to work on their cars. I'm here on Wednesdays, so uh, if you want to stop by and see us, see what we're doing, um, just stop on by.